I'm O's. Love you so much. We'll be back in just a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. Be good. Love you so much. Haley and I have to go to the post office to drop off today's packages. It was a crazy day of, day of sales yesterday, but then we actually have a nighttime garage sale to go to tonight. We've never been to a garage sale at night. Super excited. Went into our favorite post office here. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Yeah, man. Just drop everything here. I did not mean to do that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> awesome. We're good. Thank y'all so much. Thank you. So we got those packages dropped off, obviously, and now we are on the way to this church sale. It's a church garage sale that starts at 5 p.m. on a Friday. I have never heard of a garage sale or church sale or anything starting at 5 p.m. on a Friday. So uh, hopefully it'll be pretty good. We won't uh, waste our time driving over here. We're here about 30 minutes early and there's already a line waiting to get in the door. So we're just gonna go <laughs> stand with everybody else. I don't know if they're gonna let us in a little early or not, but we'll worst, worst case scenario, we stand here for 26 minutes. <laughs> 20 minutes. 20 minutes, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, they got hot dogs. There's your bag in case you find something. Thank you. Well, folks, nothing so far. Old table of Christmas stuff. This might be good. With this Schwinn Admiral. It's got some flat tires, but everything else looks good on it. It's only 25 bucks. Yeah, we don't really have space for it, but uh, maybe. I like your GoPro. Oh, thanks, man. So is it for your safety? Uh, no, we have a YouTube channel where we just try to buy, like, find some cool stuff to buy. Not a lot of cool stuff today, unfortunately, though. What's the name of your YouTube channel? It's called Harry Tornado. Cool. Check it out. What was it again? Harry Tornado. Is it all in one word? I am. Hi, I've watched a lot of your videos. Oh, awesome. Good to meet you. Is this your stuff? No, it's not. Oh, somebody, somebody got all... This is a Cutco. It's crazy. That's a cool phone. Yeah. There was a couple cool things here. We just didn't find them. Come over around here. Okay. That's it. That's it? Yep. I think I'm on dollar and a half. Okay. That's your bag or my bag? This is mine. Okay. I'll give you $2. This Keep is for you too? Keep the change. Well, appreciate it. Thank you guys. Yep. Appreciate it. We'll have more out in the morning. Okay. So there's definitely some good stuff in there. We just didn't get it. That, that some Whoever put that stuff on the counter, there's a Cutco, Cutco spatula. Uh -huh. That's probably like, I don't know, 40, 50 bucks. And that cool like yellow um, old style phone with the blue buttons. Yeah. I don't know how much that would be worth, but Oops. it's definitely cooler than... What we found. I mean, I don't. I, I didn't look up any of these Raydun mugs. They may be worth a good bit. They're only fifty cents a piece, so it can't really go wrong. So even though that garage sale was kind of a bust, since we're on this side of town, we're gonna head into the Home Goods here to look for a little table I could put beside uh, my desk to hold the our Rolo printer and microphone. Um, while we're in there, we may look for some stuff we could buy to flip for a profit. We've done that before. Ooh, those are spooky. Are these like cat beds? Like a new thing? I think so. I didn't realize so many cats needed beds. Like they got Ow. I have my back on that thing. That's cool. It's like marble. That yeah, just... would kind of fit your aesthetic too. Yeah. I don't know how much it is though. It's kind of low to the ground though. It's a little damaged. I think it's too low to the ground. I don't think so. Because yeah, yeah. I want something that's like, if I'm sitting, that would work. And if I'm standing, I could, like, it's the perfect size to hold the Rolo printer and the microphone. And I don't care that it's damaged. Maybe they'll give it to us for super cheap. Hello, sir. Hey. I have a question. This, uh, I don't see a price tag on this and it looks maybe like it's damaged a little mm -hmm. bit right there. Mm -hmm. Um, how much would this be? Uh, 
Uh, let me check. Give me one second. Okay. I give you $5 for it that's right now. That's recorded? Uh, yeah, but we're, we're vloggers. Oh, really? Yeah. For who? For what? Uh, YouTube channel. Yeah, it's, what? It's called Harry Tornado. Really? Yeah, check it out. Cool. I'm going to subscribe to it now. How many subscribers you got? Uh, 60K. Yeah, something like that. True. Wow. Yeah. So y'all go out and show people. Normally we do like thrifting, like we go to thrift stores, garage sales, and, and flea markets, and we just left a, a indoor church sale. And I'm yeah. looking for a little table like this to add to our office right next to our desk. Yeah, what's the name of it? Harry Tornado. Harry, Harry Tornado. Oh, that's that, you. That's it. Cool. I'm gonna subscribe. That's our Thanks, man. Living. Cool. Well, I'm about to give you all some views. Thank you. There you go. We get about a penny <laughs> per view, so. And I'm gonna send it to everybody I know. Thank so you. Yeah. I, I appreciate <laughs> that. Yeah, I'm looking at some YouTube sensations <laughs> right yeah. here in front of me. Yeah. That means we get a good yes. deal on the table, yeah, right? right. Uh, let me see. Let me get y'all price on that real quick. Okay. That's the one. So, forty nine ninety nine, but with that damage, we'll do it for forty. Forty yeah. sounds good. I think that's fair. Let's take it off. Okay. Forty bucks. Can I spend forty dollars on this? Yeah. Okay. Do you need anything else before we check out? Hmm. Okay, we're good. What was your name? Trevor. Trevor? Trevin. Trevin, okay. Yes, sir. I'll tell him you said $4. Not four. <laughs> <laughs> Mashed potatoes. What does this smell like? What? It, <laughs> that does not smell like mashed potatoes. It does not. I'm kind of glad though. I am too. Mm -hmm. Last thing I need is a home goods no, I credit card, man. <laughs> I would, that would be the, the beginning of financial ruin for oh, me. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank you. We appreciate you. Haley didn't think this was real marble. This is this is marble. I, I mean, it's heavy and it's white. So I didn't exactly measure the spot by my desk that I wanted this table for, but my guess was pretty solid. It fits right in this little gap. I mean, almost perfectly, like in terms of fitting on this little square of of the rug over here. It's specifically for the Rolo printer because I didn't really have enough room on the the new desk to fit it. So this is going to stay right here perfect fit 40 bucks well spent something else i want to show you guys is that we finally got our water heater replaced this week you guys know this has been something we've wanted to do for a while now and that's what the whole little nook <laughs> looks like now if you guys remember it was back here in this corner they took it out there was a little bit of moisture back there so we put our dehumidifier uh there just to help with that and then they put the new water heater on the other side of this wall in our backyard so now we have this whole little nook here to store all of our inventory i moved the existing bins, which was the alphabet, A through A through uh, V or whatever it was over here, because it just made more sense. So like, it, it, it was weird, like walking back here and the alphabet start in the back corner. I was like, it should start over here. It just makes more, makes more sense. So we have the bin set up over here. We're gonna go to Target today and get more bins to put over here and replace the black crates. But now I don't know what to name the bins because we already have the whole alphabet completed. Uh, you know, A through A through V, is in bins and then W, X, Y, and Z is in the file cabinet. So with the new bins, I want to do something more creative. You know, I don't want to just do A1, B1. I don't want to just do numbers. So drop a comment on this video and let me know how I should label the second wall of bins. I've seen some YouTubers in the past do like, where they have other YouTubers like send them stickers and like, oh, this is the Tesla picker bin or this is the Commonwealth flipper bin or whatever. So that may be, a cool idea, but drop a comment on this video and let me know. And here is what the actual water heater looks like on the outside of the house. I wasn't 100% sure how it was gonna look because I couldn't really picture it in my head, but it turned out pretty good. I mean, it's not taking up any valuable real estate because this was all just rocks and stuff here. And uh, it's all, it's, the water heater is inside this and it's all insulated, so, and we're in South Carolina, so we shouldn't worry about it freezing or anything like that. Uh, so not the prettiest thing in the world, but we could always, I don't know, draw a face on it or something, make it a little bit more uh, fun to look at. Right, Mos? This Goodwill is on the way to Target, so you know your boy gotta stop. Haley is home listing stuff because she is a much better employee than I am. So I've actually found a few things so far in Goodwill. I got this Harris Tweed hat uh, that just looks looks interesting. Hats are gonna be at only a dollar here, so I may look that up. Got another um, Babolat. Babolat hat. The Babolat is a brand of tennis rackets, uh, and they're kind of expensive, so I imagine the hat will be pretty expensive as well. I got this pair of Peloton cycling shoes. They don't have cleats on the bottom, but they're only $9.99. So I feel like those might be worth looking up as well. And then I found this really cool pair of shoes. I thought they were Converse at first, but they're not. They say made in USA. 
There's no branding on them at all, but they have like Mickey and Minnie Mouse on them. Walt Disney World. So I guess they're like Walt Disney shoes? I don't know. Made in USA? $6.50. I think I might take a chance on them. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? So as you guys saw, I got everything that I had showed you earlier. That Harris Tweed hat had sold comps like 40 bucks or so. Um, the Peloton shoes looks like they're gonna sell for like 50 or 60 or so, depending on the size, even without those cleats. Uh, I didn't look up the Babylon hat, but I know that's gonna sell for at least 15 or so uh, dollars plus shipping. And then there's a, the Mickey, Mickey and Minnie Mouse shoes. I can't find sold comps on them. Again, I don't even know what brand it is. I guess it's just general Disney. But if you guys could help me out on that, let me know. These are the bins I need that's so how much they are sometimes we get asked where we get our bins and the answer is target one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty are they ringing at 856 that's good news uh, eight dollars oh eight dollars it's my d lucky day tag back there says 999 oh, okay no it's gonna sell one still 260 bucks but I'll if you need it, it it was 200 I'll take it. Thank you, you too. I wonder if having this purchase on video, on a YouTube video, would count as documentation for the IRS. Like, I have my receipt, but like, do you think if I lost my receipt, they could use this? So here's what the new bins look like on the new shelves. So when we had this little nook, I decided to turn the bins sideways so they didn't stick out so far, so we would have more room to walk back here in the nook. But when we do that, and when we have the lids on the bins, the bins are kind of hard to, to pull out. They get a little, like, I mean, you can still pull them out. It's just a little difficult. So I think we may have to take the lids off the bins just to make it easier to work with, but that shouldn't be a huge issue. I think this is still gonna be the best storage solution we could possibly have come up with for uh, you know our business. We've got 20 bins on each wall, so that's 40 bins total, plus that shelf back there for things that don't fit in bins, plus four bins over here, here, plus the filing cabinet. So I think all in all, we probably have enough room to store upwards of about a thousand items. You know, obviously it depends on what types of items we're storing back here, but I think we could probably pretty easily hit that 800 to 1,000 item mark in listed inventory with this current storage setup. So although the nighttime garage sale we went to in the beginning of this video was kind of a bust, I still love the idea of having a garage sale at night. I don't know why there's this unwritten rule that all garage sales must be Saturday morning at 7 a.m. I mean, if you're having it, you gotta wake up at five o'clock in the morning to set everything up and then everything gets wet because of the dew a lot of the times. And then you're competing with every other garage sale in the area. There's like 30 garage sales in one town and they all start and stop at the exact same time on the exact same day and it just doesn't make sense why more people don't do the nighttime route like start it from start it at seven go from like seven to ten you have all day long to set up you don't deal with the dew you still get the cool weather that comes in the evening a lot of people like doing garage sales in the morning because it's cool but you can do it at night and it's the same temperature i don't understand so i think Personally, the next time we do a garage sale, I'm gonna go the nighttime route. Again, you're not competing with hardly anybody else. I don't know if anybody else doing a nighttime garage sale. You get the cool weather, you get more people around, like people don't have to wake up at 5.30 or six o'clock in the morning to come to your sale, they can just come at night. So I love the idea, but drop a comment on this video and let me know if you guys think having a nighttime garage sale is the best way to have a garage sale. So I decided to film today's outro with my drone because I specifically got my drone pilot license a couple months ago to put more drone footage in the YouTube video. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video and all the videos. We definitely appreciate all the support you guys have given us over the years. Uh, just if you like today's video, if you enjoyed any part of it at all, I, I would love it if you could hit the like button for us down below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below as well. We're trying to hit 200,000 subscribers before 2022. I know that's a strong goal. I know that's going to be tough, but I really believe it. Uh, I believe we can make it. So if you guys could help us out, that would be awesome. Love you so much. We'll catch you guys on the next one. I would do the thing where I like cover the, the lens with my, uh, with my hand, but I, I can't reach it because it's like 350 feet away right now. But but you but you get it. You get it.